schools they'll continue to wait on. Lawmakers are gearing up for a new conversation on education reform. This time, all sides say that conversation must start and end with agreement. Reporter Eric Fink, live in the studio with our story. Michelle, on November 6th, voters not only said no to school superintendent Tom Luna's education vision for our state, but they also said no to lawmakers who first passed the reforms two years ago. Now, as the legislature begins a new term in a few weeks, it says this discussion about education reform begins with collaboration, not polarization. It is a personal issue that hits home every single day. That's why there's the passion around it. And no more evident was that passion than right here. Hundreds of protesters gathering on the State House steps two sessions ago. Mary Lou Olson has voted. Then in November, in overwhelming numbers, Idahoans told our state government to try again. Incoming freshman state senator Cherie Buckner Webb will sit on the Education Committee this session, and she looks forward to an inclusive debate on how to implement changes that will best prepare our kids for the future. The stakeholders must be involved, from educators to, to people with the feet on the street with the children, with the defeat of Props 1, 2, and 3, that it's far outside the realms of politics. It's about our citizens, it's about our students, it's about our economy, it's about Idaho and Idahoans. The House Committee Chair agrees with his Democratic colleague. He says reform must focus on individual student growth, not just achievement. And that, he hopes, begins with technology and the teacher. Essentially, we have the opportunity to customize the education for each student. Technology uh, allows us to do that with the teachers at the lead. But what about the potential for another round of these? If protests become necessary, the people will step up and they'll let us know that we're not, not doing what they'd like us to see. A scene many lawmakers don't want to see as this critical debate begins a new chapter in 2013. Lawmakers agree this session the education issue could be overshadowed by talks on how to best implement the state-based health insurance exchange program. They have to decide whether they're on board with the governor's proposal. Live tonight, Eric Fink, Today 6 on your side. As promised, we want to take you back to Clackamas, Oregon right now. You're looking live at aerial shots of a mall shooting.